everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're busy here. Jennifer's playing in a playpen at the moment. Hopefully she'll stay pretty quiet, but if not, I'll nip off and sort her out. She's due a feed soon. This is part three of the auction camera haul. So it's the cameras I bought in auction. There will be a part four because there are some more. I did buy another lot, but there's not many in that one. So I've actually got a sort of bin thing to put the cameras in as I pull them and just move a bit closer because I need to try and get this stuff sorted out into cameras and lenses so I can find out which lenses go with which camera so I'm just going to dive in so the first thing that's not actually in the box which should be it's not actually a camera it's a pair of binoculars there's no brand on them I don't know whether they work or not hang on wrong way very hard for me because I've got glasses they do work actually but they're, they're more like opera glasses than proper binoculars but there's no brand on them no magnification information so I don't know about those <laughs> they might just get donated somewhere because I've got a good pair of binoculars now if you've watched any other parts you will know that I found a Olympus Mu 1 uh, which is a very good camera but the one you want to get if you can get it is the Mu 2 because it's worth a lot of money so I'm, one I went on eBay really for £235 I found one in the box. There it is, an Olympus Mu 2, if it'll focus on it. There is some marks on it, but with a camera from the 1990s, it's to be expected. Now, I there's no battery in it. I have put a roll of film through this camera and it does work. So I'm very excited to have found that one, I can tell you. <laughs> so yes. Exciting. Right, on to the next lot of cameras. So this one is first. Oh, it's in half a case. It's a Prinz Mastermatic 3. I have no idea. Well the shutter fires, but I don't know if it actually does anything. I'll have a proper look at it. I don't know anything about this other than it's called a Prinz Mastermatic 3. So I will have to have a look at that and see if it works I'll take it out of the half case because it just means that the case is broken we'll pop that in because it won't sit in properly because it's in a stupid half case uh, next I've got a Centon K200 not a brilliant brand of camera a kind of starter budget camera the mirror needs cleaning possibly possibly will need the seals redoing. There is a scent on lens somewhere. Let's just it's gonna stand up, that's better. Then I have a flash. This is a Prince Jupiter 272 solid state flash. Again, I don't know if these work. There shouldn't be any batteries in it. There are no batteries in it. Um, contacts are pretty clean so it probably does work I, again it's something I'm going to have to test I do have the box for this one and the instruction manual so I will test that I mean the box isn't in any good condition it's missing a flap uh, then we have another flash no yep yeah. this is a GT20 Sun Pack that feels heavy that feels like there's batteries in there I don't know. I'm not even sure. I'll have to have a look at that, but that's, that's another flash. So they've been out there a few flashes, so we will test them out. We've got a few lenses, so again, I have no idea which camera mount this is, lens mount is. This is a Hanamex camera, uh, Hanamex lens macro. 200 millimeter and it is let me have a look uh, it goes from f uh, f.5 so that's the first lens so i'm just gonna leave those on the table because i'll put the the lenses in this other box i've got another lens here this is a big one again this is this one's got a lens cap on it it is a tamron 
55 millimeter. It's, oh, sorry, no, it's got a Fotax uh, filter on the front. Uh, it's a Tamron Zoom Macro 210 4.5. Again, I have no idea what lens mount this is. I'm literally going to have to get one of each body and see if any of these lenses fit. The lens, this is a Super Albinar. I have, again, no idea. MC Auto, one, it's 2.8. 28 millimeter lens so I've just got to figure out what camera that goes to oh the joys a lot of lenses in this one this one oh this one looks mucky let me just have a quick look yeah I think this one's probably knackered um, it is a Panagor auto wide angle 28 millimeter one and it's 2.5 but it's got a really mucky front element. So I don't know whether that's actual fungus or whether it's just dirt because it needs a clean. This one's got a label on it from the person that actually owned them before because he was a dealer. I've just got to get it off, but it's an Olympus lens, this one. So that's great. So I know I've got an Olympus lens, at least one Olympus lens. Well, I've got a couple actually that I can use to test it. It is, I just gotta have a look at it because Unfortunately, he's put a label over it, so. Uh, close focus. Um, yes. 30 to 70, but I can't see what the aperture is on it, so. That's that one. Nice, nice little lens. Another one here. This one is one that's damaged. Oh, it's a teleconverter times two, but it is missing something off the front. So I don't know. Again, no idea what this would go to because there's no labelling on them. I have another one of these things. Again, no idea. And a Pentax lens cap. Now there is a Pentax lens somewhere. I don't know if I pulled it or not. But Next one is a Vivitar 28-200mm macro focusing zoom lens. 3.5 so again I have no idea what camera this goes to but I do believe there is a lens cap for that in that bucket because I know there is a big Hanamex one in there so yeah again no idea it is annoying when you don't know what uh, camera these go to so again another camera here this is a Canon EOS 3000 no lens I don't know if I've got a lens that will fit an EOS or an EOS so I might have to buy one. I don't really want to buy lenses, but uh, I've got quite a few Canon EOSes in there and a lot of Minolta's, as you know. Another Centon K200, there's two of those. There is a Centon lens somewhere, probably in one of the boxes I've already hauled. So, and it's got a strap. So I've got to test all these at some point. Again, in a half, a uh, case that's broken. I've got a Practica LTL3. I don't think this one's working. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. Oh, that sounds alright. I don't know. I would need to check. Oh, it's on very slow. Let me just put it up to a higher shutter speed. See if it works. Oh, yeah. So that seems to be okay. I just need to have. I don't know if there's a film in it. So it's that one. I've got to look for a lens for that. There might be one. There might not be. Excellent. Pop that one in there. Put those in. Right. So that's those. What have we got next? I have got a, a, a Practica camera strap. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. There you go. Practica camera strap. That really should go in my accessories. Put it over there. Right, I've got three in cases now. Excuse me, I'll have a sip of tea. And then I've got another empty box. I've got a box I need emptied because I need it for something else. We've got an Ilford Sporty in a case. So it's in its ever ready case. An Ilford Sporty. I have no idea what film it takes. It looks like it's medium format because it's quite big. It's got a dec decor Cora lens. I have no idea. 
oh I see so it's got two settings cloudy and flash and one for sunny and that's about it so I would need to have a look at this um I will pick up Buckus I think uh, whatever his name is who's got all the lovely vinyls on and have a good read and then make a nice donation to him so that one's in its case the case is not broken that's that one put that in there I know baby another one in its case is this is a Kodak and this is a Kodak and I can't read it because it's the one that's got so it's this one I did figure out what it's called but I can't actually remember because on the top it says something 33 it says C something and then it says AP 35 so I don't know I will need to look it up as you can see it is a bit worn I did find out what it was and now I can't remember but again it's in its little grey case no idea if there's any film in it no idea if it works but I am sure looking forward to trying these little things out and seeing how we go oh you remember the Kodak the, the 127 brownie that was in the box it's got a roll of film that's been exposed that's not been developed and I am going to develop that I was looking at this and there's actually an unused roll of film in that camera so I'm, I'm going to see, wait till we get some decent weather and I'm going to try and um, expose it and see what happens and, you know, make sure it's a very sunny day. So probably wait till next summer. This, this is Agfa. It's an Agfa Isola. I believe this takes 120 film. Um, I had, did have a quick look online. I don't know if it works. I don't know. It might be one of those that you've got to have film in it. So... I will have to have a look at it, but there's an egg for Isola. These are the cameras. I mean, I love all cameras. I love the fact that I've got a lot of EOSs. I've got some Nikons. I've got some Minolta's. I've got Centons and so on. But I really love these old ones. Not so keen on the cases. But, yeah. So that's the end of that box. Hooray! I'm just going to move some stuff around. And we'll carry on. Okay, I'm just going to put these lenses in this one box. All the lenses are going to go in here. Give me a sec. I'm in like that. Ooh, there we are. Last one there. Uh, and I'm just going to pull another box over and we'll carry on. Oh my god, this is heavy. This is a. This was. That was a heavy box. I will edit out a load of the nonsense. Okay, where to start? Right, another Minolta lens by the look of it here. Yeah, another Minolta lens. These are just the kit lenses, I believe. Yeah, 35 to 80. Autofocus. 1.4 to 5.6. So not a huge, not a brilliant lens, but it's a kit lens, so it's, it's a lens I can use to test out the 9,000 million Minolta's I've got. This one is a Hanamex Zoom. 28 to 80, so it's another one of those massive ones. Again, I don't know, it has got an M on the bottom, so does that mean it's a Minolta mount or something else? I have no idea. I have to try these out. And now I can put them straight in the box. I need a box of flashes, I think. I have here a Voigtlander Vitoret. No idea again if this works. It's got a little filter on the front, I think. I'm not actually sure. Needs cleaning. Needs a good clean. Not sure. Oh, okay, that's oh that's the shutter. Interesting. Very interesting. Again, I will be enjoying to look at these and see if they work. I like these old ones the best. Uh, another lens. Looks like a Minolta one again. Oh, it's a Centon. It's got a bit of a dent on it. So it has got a bit of a dent on this one. That normally doesn't really affect anything. At least I can test my Centons. Macro. Okay. 3.4. Yep. Sent on lens. Another big one here. Oh, there are so many lenses that it's unbelievable. This just says 
Orestigo, no idea. 200. Maya Optic. It's got late. These bloody labels are a nightmare. I'm probably going to have to get some goo gone or something to see. Gee, yeah, I have to look that up. Um, but it's got a very, very funny screw mount, so I have no idea. I don't know if it'll show you what what on earth that would go through. I'm going to seriously need to do some look on that. I mean, it's a nice looking lens. I don't know. There seems to be some sort of cap on the bottom, but it's not. Very odd. Anyway, for that nonsense. What have we got here? We've got uh, another Minolta Dianex 7000i. There it is. Again, I have no idea if any of these work. Some of them have got batteries in, some haven't. I'm going to be going through them all, testing them all. I'm going to have so much fun, but I'm going to need to buy some film. And I've got a ton of film. I think I'm going to buy film. We've got a flash here. This is a Centon FG30 flash. The, the head that moves around. Just going to check there's no batteries in it. I can't get it off, I'll do it later. So, yeah. That's for a Centon camera, so that's great. I mean, I can always put a kit, a Centon kit together if necessary. Now I'm an Ulta here, and this is a Minolta just 7000 autofocus. Again, it's got that wear on the grip where somebody's really used this. So whether or not these work, I don't know. No straps, but that's okay. This is one of those that says mode drive via, so it's all electronic, so. Another Minolta. There's a lot of Minolta's. There's a lot of other things as well, mine. So here I have a Zenit E. It does seem to work. I'm going to have to check it out properly. There we go. No lens, so I, again, would have to try and figure it out. Now that's a screw lens. But that is too big so I would have to have a see, see what I mean about having to figure out which lenses go with which ones maybe it's in the USSR so there we are that's a Zenit E my first camera was Zenit it was a Zenit 11 there you go my first 35 millimeter so we've got a Miranda lens here 70 to 200 millimeters millimeters rather again no idea what this is going to go to. I mean, a Miranda, obviously, but I don't think there is a Miranda, so no bottom cap. But there are bottom caps and there are lens caps. They've just they were just all loose, and I've put them in a box, and I will get them out and sort them at some point. We have another Never Ready case. I'm oh, sorry, an Ever Ready case. This one doesn't have a strap on it. The strap's broken. But inside we have a Helena three thousand. So that's quite a cheap brand camera, I believe. Shutter seems to work. So yeah, we will try it out. There's a selenium cell, so it might not work, but we'll we'll see what happens. Lots and lots of cameras. I'll make Jennifer some milk in a minute. She will be due soon. So I'm just keeping on how long it's been because I need to. Okay, I've got a. Uh... Oh, it's a bit of plastic in there. Part of an X1A. Uh, so it's only part of it. It's not all here. There's no lens and there's, there's, there's no top thing. So it's not going to do anything. I, I, you know, I wouldn't even know. But like I said, some of these I'm not expecting to work. Uh, it's just interesting to see the different makes and models. I used to have one of these cameras. My dad bought it for me in a junk shop. It is a Voigtlander Vito B rangefinder. Uh, this one's all right. I don't know, again, if it's gonna work. Um, the, the, it is missing some of the leatherette off of the bottom and this leatherette is coming off. But of course it, it can be repaired. So it will probably be, I will probably just sell this one and say, look, it, this is it, it needs recovering. It's not something I'm going to try and do. I will test it, see if it works, and if it does, maybe sell it so somebody can um, 
fix the leatherette. Okay, we're near the end now of this first auction lot. So, well, there's two auction lots together. So hopefully we'll get this finished. We got another Minolta, another Minolta 7000 autofocus. So that's, how many is that? I think there's three of those. Again, with the same wear on the grip and then we've got some wear on the back. Again, I will be, t I will test them all because well, that's fun, isn't it? Testing cameras and playing with cameras. And I love cameras. I am the camera lady. I'm always asking for cameras. This one is a... I can't read that. My eyes. Oh, my gosh. Belora Bella 44. Look at that. No idea what you do with this. I will, I'm going to need to do some research on that because I've never seen one of those before. Very interesting. Made in Germany. Usually German manufacturing is really good. So Fingers crossed. Jennifer's getting a bit fractured so we'll have to speed up and get through this quite quickly. Ooh. You can never have enough cables. The digital things. Oh, and another one. Okay. Oh, that's quite a big one, actually. Ugh. Okay, this one is a, it's another Agfa Isola. So that's two of those we've got. This one is not in the case. But that looks bigger than 120. And maybe it's my imagination because I've been looking at 127 film for so much long. Put that there. Then we've got a Helena here in an Ever Ready case. With, it's got a sticker on it which says the magnifying glass fire service national benevolent fund appeal for orphans. Okay, so it's obviously sold in a charity shop at some point or a charity sale. And this is the Helena Paulette Electric. Yeah. Don't know. Well, that works. I don't know. I'd have to, I'll have to research them. I don't want to play with them too much. I don't want to, if they are working, damage them and make them not work. Put that one back in here as well. Ooh, this one is, says, it says Comet on the front, so there's the Never Ready case, and it's got one of these, there's something in here, what's in here? Is it another lens? It is a, oh, a lens hood, cool, uh, and I'd say filters or something, I'd have, I'll have to have a look at that, but this, says Comet, let's have a look, what is it? Is it a Comet? I don't think it is, it's a, oh, it is a Comet, it's a Comet S. Milano, a Bene Bencini Comet made in Italy. So this is an Italian camera. Wow. How do you wind the film on? Oh, like that. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. But it's a little bit small for its box. I think it's because there's no screw on the bottom. All right, sweetie, I make your milk now. Let's pop that one up. That, that's cool. Oh, she's not happy. Uh, this is a battery charger for a Canon, but I don't know which one. Uh, I'll have to have a look. But there we go. And there's two left now from this first set of uh, auction haul, and we'll have a look at the other one last. So uh, no particular order. Here is another Kodak case. Kodak it says Kodak on the front. It is a Kodak Color Snap. So that was what. Yeah, Color Snap. Uh, 35 was the other one. So this is just a Kodak Bantam Color Snap camera. I like the back where it says clear sun, hazy sun, cloudy bright, cloudy dull. <laughs> That's pretty cool, the back. So again, this feels pretty heavy as well, so I will have to take this out. It doesn't look like there's any film in it, but because it's got a red window on the back. So yeah, so that's that one. I'm just going to close this up. Make sure it's safe. 
Oh, I love, I love cameras. There we go, that's that one. And the last one in this box is not in its case properly. It says it's Helena again. So I don't know what's happened to this case. Well, I think I do actually. But uh, yeah, there we are. It's not on right, that's all. It uh, should go the other way. It's just that the, that's it. Let me just do that and let's do that. Let's do that. Now it's the right way around. So, oh, that's nice looking. It's a Helena 35X. This is heavy. Because Helena was always a cheaper brand of camera. But that is really heavy. And look at that lens. What does it say that is? It's a, just a Helena lens. Oh, but it's tiny. Wow. I, again, oh, well, that's weird. I'm going to have to do some serious researching into this one because I've no idea. So there we go. That is the end of part three of the camera collection. It goes around the other way and goes over like that. This bloody strap on this, this camera is so small. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It goes the other way. You had it right the first time. That way. But yeah, exciting. So just do that up, put that in. There, that is fantastic. So that is all of the cameras from the first auction that I got. I do have another box of just bodies, um, most of which probably aren't working. There's one in there that I've, I've got hopes for because it's one I've had before um, in my collection that doesn't work in my collection and I'm hoping this one will work. So looking forward to trying that out. So, but that is the second lot. So yes, very happy with an Olympus Mio. If I sold this on eBay, I could pay for the entire lots of auction stuff I bought so all the costume jewellery and all the cameras would be covered with this one tiny little compact camera if I can sell it we'll have to see I might just keep it for myself we'll have to see so there we go that is it for this video and something's in my tea lots of things we like things oh I'm really tired right I better go and feed the baby before oh she's gone to sleep I'll go and make her a bottle so it's ready when she wakes up. I'm not surprised because she's been awake all day and hasn't had a doze except for a tiny little doze on the way home in the camera. In the camera? We'd, apparently we got home in a camera. Camera's on the brain. In the car. So that's it from me for today. I will see you all soon. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment or like, subscribe and share it with your friends. And I will see you all soon. So thanks for watching. Bye.